Greetings and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we saw how we could create and structure our products and store them uh, with a minimum and maximum price and organize them. But we just did it in code so you could see how dictionaries work. And I explained how that would probably not be our best structure for a, a long-term game design. So we're going to see how we can move our cities from right now being a list and being managed that way. Instead, we're going to actually create a, an object uh, in Godot, and we're going to see how to do that right now. So let's get rid of the product stuff, because we're not using that right now. That was just an example of how to use these um, the dictionaries and a, a list of dictionaries. But we're going to go ahead and get the city so that it can work with an actual object. So the way that we do this actually is creating a new scene. So we just hit add a new scene like this and we're gonna go ahead and create a panel here for our city right here and just hit create. So I'm taking the same approach and I'm just creating actually I am gonna take a different approach. I'm gonna just make a node, a regular node here and hit create. So we're not gonna have any visual representation at all for this and I'm gonna call it city so this is gonna be a pure object no visual representation and this object now we will substantiate it and initialize it from within our main and so let's go ahead and add a script to our city create here and we're gonna keep our city kinda of simple to start with we're just gonna come up here and say var city name so we're gonna have a city name and uh, we can just go ahead and say equals city name so that we know that we got that here and let's go ahead and introduce a couple more data types and also show why we might want to use an object rather than just strings at least we could have still used a dictionary but at least it's more complicated and that's by adding like a warehouse flag so some cities have warehouses in the original Taipan game only the first city had a warehouse but we're gonna make it so our game um, any city could have a warehouse but we're gonna say that uh, is false to start with so I'm just adding an extra little data item so that we can see uh, that we can build this up uh, this class and it's just extending on node uh, to represent our cities just like that so that's our first step and now we need to save this so I can come up here to save and say save scene and we're just gonna save it as city so we'll give that a save just like that and just like that we've created that resource and now that we have this city node defined let's jump back over here into our main and see how we can reference it and it's pretty simple you just have a reference basically up here in our class member variables we create just like a city variable here that's going to reference that city object and it looks just like this so let's see how we can use that to get started we'll kind of we're going to come in here and we're going to say var how about city1 equals and we can say city.new and you can see it gives us the IntelliSense for it like that and this is what creates a new instance of the template definition or class that we have over here so we we have access to city name we have access to warehouse for example and a city is gonna have a list of city products in it as well so we can have var city products because every city is going to have a list of products so that's why I have this here like that and so once we create this city one we can actually now reference things in this so I can say print city one dot city name for example so we're going to reference that property we just created a custom class we got a property in here and we can reference it and print it out just like that so let's go ahead and print and run and you'll see down in here that we got our bracket city name is listed just like that so with this now we can create all kinds of cities for uh, for our uh, our game just using this 
simple pattern and we'll just build it out here right now. So let's just go ahead and in our ready, let's call a create cities. So I'm going to come up and make a create cities function just like that. And we'll call create cities here. Make sure it's spelled right. They're spelled the same. So we're going to call create cities. And this is where we're going to create our cities and add them to our cities list. So our cities list will start out empty. And we're going to create city1. And let's go ahead and set city1.city name equal to Hong Kong. And then we can say cities.append city1. And that's basically the pattern that we can use. So we have our first city and we have our second city. So it's a simple little pattern to teach you like that. And we don't want to use city one here. We'll use city two and add city two in just like so. So we were going to create a new city object here instance stored in city one. We set its name to Hong Kong and then we add it to our cities list. And now that it's in our list of cities, we just have to change here how we reference it. So we just have to add on here city city name. Because it's no longer just a, a list of strings, it's a list of objects. We are actually storing a list of this whole entire instance of this city. So as this gets more complex and we add more to it, more functions, more everything, we're going to have access to that. And this property right here is just our starting point. So let's go ahead and run. And you'll see we're in Hong Kong. And I can click and we can go to Shanghai and back to Hong Kong. But now we're doing it completely different. We no longer have a list of cities at all in here. Instead, we have our city template that has our city name. And uh, we could, for example, make a Boolean thing that would say, for example, uh, you know, if the warehouse is available, you know, and uh, things like that. We can look at those properties. So a very quick introduction to objects, but it, it gets you started. And you can see right here that we've already, you know, switched over from using a list of strings to instead... Uh, creating these objects for our cities and in our next lecture what we'll do is we'll we'll do the same thing for products and then see soon after that how we can have our pricing by city and by product and that's like really a core part of this game design of this pirate trading game is representing prices by city and product rather than just having a price for the product so We'll start building more of that out in the next lecture.